So they were for team. So another one two minutes in and uh, we will start. So also before we are waiting for your, your group mate. So I just want to tell you that most probably the exam will be in the form of multiple questions, uh, open book, and the, uh, you will uh, you will have it from home. So that's it. And also I know you got another additional one homework where you have to where you have to use Excel to solve it. So I also in the end of this session I show you how to use uh with red function. So no worries, but actually feel free to ask any questions regarding Excel and uh, yeah. And uh, you can uh, interrupt me and you can uh, use chat uh to attract my attention uh to problems you have. So I hope that everything will be fine. So guys, I think we can start. So let me before before we before, so so I have to mute you. Oh, you can mute yourself. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay, now perfect. Okay, before we jump into Excel, so I just uh, want uh, to briefly go through uh, through this PDF file where I just uh, want to show you which kind of questions you are supposed uh, to be able to solve in Excel. Uh, so now let's start. So first of all, of course, uh, we want you to be able to use uh, with the basic functions as well. Uh, to calculate the average, you mean, maybe, maybe, and all the sample variance, sample standard deviation, etc. So it's not so complicated, so it's not a rocket science, so I hope that uh, the majority of you already uh, know how to use it. So we will not pay too much attention to width and stuff, but I end I just uh, will show you what uh, how you can how we can calculate uh, the same uh, the same measures uh, without using the formulas in Excel. So just also to uh, give you a sense, uh, give you the meaning of what uh, stands behind behind the whole function. Uh, so also covariances, uh, correlations. Also what we uh, what we covered during this course. I think uh, nothing special, nothing new. So no worries. Uh, also, how to deal with uh, frequency distribution and bar charts for qualitative data. So how to visualize your results. And uh, yeah, so also we covered this topic during this course. So don't be afraid. Uh, yeah, for qualitative and for quantitative data. Okay, for frequency distribution and for example quantitative data. Uh, so let's see. So we this is what we're gonna cover uh, during today's session. So let's jump into Excel and uh, let's do it step by step. So, okay, we start from uh, we start from uh, the salary Excel file. So where you have to calculate uh, uh, the mean, median, mode, the sample variance, sample standard deviation. So the basic statistics about uh, array of data. So you can just uh, look what I do in my Excel. Also, you are welcome if you want to repeat it, if you want to do it uh, in parallel with me, so you can also open the Excel and just repeat that. I think it's uh, very straightforward. So, you just uh, enter you just enter uh, the cell, uh, you put uh, the sign of equality and you just uh, type average. And you see with uh, with uh, each Excel also suggests you what uh, kind of functions you want to use. For example, yes, you see average. So return the average arithmetic mean of this argument. So it's exactly what we need. Uh, and uh, actually, 
I also insist that uh, I want you to use uh, uh, the help function in Excel. So, for example, if you don't know what uh, weight of that function uh, does in Excel, so just uh, click on it. And uh, here in Excel, there is an amazing, uh, amazing, uh, uh, amazing help. So here you see, first of all, like uh, about what with articles or the description of function. So arithmetic mean you all know how to calculate it. And also, even uh, there are some um, some examples which you can uh, just uh, copy paste to Excel and uh, run. It. So, which is uh, the first thing you have to know? You have to know because, like, uh, when you when you start uh, mastering any any application, any program programming language, so first of all you have to know how to use help because, like, in help and manual, there are a lot of useful information you you can benefit uh, from. So that's it. So I'm here just. You just type average, and you see, so you have to insert these numbers for array of our data, and uh, always start with an array for typing salary. So you just choose it, and uh, press enter. Okay, so clear. Uh, so, so for median, it's also straightforward, so if you want to obtain median, so you just type median in with uh, yellow box. So you see here, uh, it's also, it also suggested me to use media, so more the same. I don't think that we have to, uh, we have to, Pay too much attention to this. I mean, just let me show how to insert this, uh, how to insert this formula, and we will, we will talk about this in uh, more detail. So, sample variance. So, here, okay, the first important uh, point. So, don't mix up uh, the sample variance with population variance. So, and I uh, will show you what the difference is. Uh, so, you see here there are two uh, types of functions to calculate standard deviation. So, uh, the first uh, type of function, STD, EV, uh, point E, and point C. So point E stands for population, as you could guess, and uh, point C stands for uh, sample. And be careful, and uh, that uh, usually you have to use uh, standard deviation for the sample. And uh, let's uh, go to the help and see what's the difference. So. Uh, description, of course, you can uh, read description, but uh, I suppose that all of you know what is uh, standard deviation. So I'll go to the formula. So and this is the formula. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> um, the, the here we need variance, of course. Not variance, yeah. Yeah, the standard deviation we will calculate next step. Yeah, here. Uh, yeah, and yeah, and you see what uh, the formula Excel used to calculate uh, variance uh, of sample. So we, as usual, we have to find uh, we have to find the quadratic uh, variation variation for each uh, observation and uh, subdivided by uh, the n minus one. So which is how it's calculated. So and just let me calculate it. Okay. Done and also the same for standard deviation. Just let me do it briefly. Uh, la, la, la. Uh, yeah. yeah, so perfect. And uh, here, here I just want to show you what the meaning of what, what the meaning, what, uh, what, what will happen if you will choose uh, uh, the wrong function. So, for example, uh, if you choose, if you in variance, the left side is variance. If you choose uh, the variance for population, so let's go to the help and see what uh, which formula it uses. So you see the difference. So here the Excel use the formula where uh, the sum of quadratic variations is subdivided by uh, sample size, and uh, from 
sample size, in this case, we don't subtract uh, the one. So, and uh, you see uh, the results will be different, of course. Because uh, we calculate variance in this case, so we don't mention that we deal with uh, uh, population. Yeah, of course. It's a different. Okay, uh, which is it. And uh, also, before we proceed, I just wanted to show you how you can calculate, how you can calculate uh, the same, uh, the same, uh, uh, same uh, statistics without in using any Excel formula. So, uh, guys, I want, uh, I want you to understand that, for example, you can uh, receive the results of with formulas uh, by yourself. And you can check whether the Excel calculates uh, the right number. So, for example, for the mean, uh, we know the formula. So, for the mean, uh, we know that the formula is the next, so which is the sum of all elements uh, from 1 to 12 in our case, and uh, subdivided by 12. So, we can just uh, repeat this formula in Excel. So, uh, let, let's end this. So, for example, we can uh, uh, create with uh, sum just by summing. So, also I want to show you other functions like uh, auxiliary functions in Excel. So, for example, sum where sum is a very important uh, function which uh, helps you to calculate the sum in uh, one particular column. So, in our case, this is the column with certain salary. So, again, we just... Uh, we just type the sum, and uh, here we invert, uh, we invert uh, starting salary. Uh, so we got this sum, and we know that uh, the sample size is equal to 12, and uh, here will be result. So, uh, Yeah, exactly like this. So you see, mean we repeat it. So in order to calculate median, as I uh, as I showed you in our lecture, in our TV session, I don't remember the number of our sessions. So for example, uh, you can you can uh, use the next uh, algorithm. So first, uh, I would like you to go to insert the table. Yeah, so my table has headers. So, and here, so, as I told you, so, first you have to range it from smallest up to, to largest, so, to largest to smallest, so, it doesn't matter. So, it's here. And uh, as you remember, the formula for the median is the next. And also, I want to pay your attention here that since our sample size is 12, so we just an uh, even number. So, because like, uh, the way we calculate the median is different. So, uh, when we have uh, the odd number of, uh, of observation and when we have an even uh, number of observation. In, in our case, it's 12, and I show you the formula for our case, so, which is uh, x, y plus uh, x. Uh, y uh, one divided by two, where uh, the i is uh, is round number uh, sample size divided by two. So in our case, this is six, and the i plus one is uh, seven. So in in our case the formula is equal to C X uh, of for six observation plus uh, X of uh, seven observations divided by two. And I just uh, show you what uh, it's very convenient to show you the meaning of median and XR. Uh so for example, so uh we have to find uh, the six uh, the six uh, uh observation. So in our case, we have two, three, four, five, four, six, and seven. So, and you see what's the meaning of median. So which is the uh, which is uh, the value which uh, subdivides your sample in a, in a, into two equal parts, which is up and which is up and uh, lower to our right. So here we have uh, uh, five observations, and here we have five. 
So exactly 18. So then we have to, so we have to find the, the average of these two numbers. So in our case, it will be, yeah, let's put it here, median. So and it's equal to, or, 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 here, plus the width, uh, subdivided by two. Let's see. Exactly. Yeah. So you see, and uh, it, uh, coincides. Of course, it should coincide because, uh, uh, Excel uses, uh, uses, uh, the formula, uh, which we all know. So actually with, uh, with exercise, you can repeat by yourself and check that it works, uh, for, for everything. So no questions in the chat. Okay. So we can proceed. Uh, so, so the same for the mode. So when we arrange our, uh, numbers and since we have only 12, so we can easily check that, uh, uh, that with value 3480, uh, uh, is encountered twice. So that's why we have the mode. So the most frequently, with the most frequent value in our, uh, array. Also here you can uh, calculate uh, the sample variance. So in order to do this uh, uh, manually, so for example, uh, we can introduce uh, two new counts. So the width is uh, uh, the linear variation. So let's uh, put it this way. And we need to calculate uh, the quadratic area. Uh, yeah, so we know the mean. So we know the mean and we have to find it for each observation. So for example, we can use, uh, yeah. So, and uh, here we have to use with dollars. So the dollars, uh, the sign of dollar means that uh, we don't want to change with uh, cell. So we w it means that we want to subtract the same cell from each observation. So with uh, exactly what uh, the sign of dollar means. And uh, see. Okay. Uh, which is, uh, which is uh, the column with our linear variation. So we move, uh, we, in, in the next column, uh, we want to find the quadratic variation. So we, it means that we want to, uh, raise it in the, in the degree of two. Yeah, exactly. So, and here we can find the sum, sum of our quadratic variation. Oh, sorry. Uh, not a good idea. So. Let me do it with here. Okay. Uh, sum. We sum it over. And uh, so the variance in our case. Uh, is divided by. Okay, not twelve. Let's use the uh, root Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Of course. And. Uh, so here I made the typical mistake, you see guys, so because you have to subdivide it by n minus 1. Don't forget that we calculate uh, the sample area. Yeah, exactly, exactly we got it. So exactly we got the same number. So for example, I suggest uh, the matter of, um, a matter of uh, number of decimals uh, after after the point, so for example, we can use, uh, here, so just, uh, click, uh, click, uh, the right button of your mouse, uh, go to format cell, choose number, choose the number of decimals after the comma, after the point. So you, let's, uh, put it two, and you see it's, uh, it coincides. So for example, also here, you see it's number, so we do the same format, and we get the same result. So so with the fit, so with the fit, and just let me remember the formula for you for the sample variance. So it's uh, variance and it's for, uh, the sum of uh, quadratic variations um, divided by.
by n minus 1 minus 1 with the sample of the sample. So with this is guys, so sorry if it was a bit long, but I just wanted to show you how you can uh, how you can repeat this result without using any formula. So but and I think it will be helpful for you when you will deal with more uh, cumbersome tasks. And the yeah, it's always better to know to be sure that you can repeat the results which uh, you can obtain using uh, Excel on any other statistical uh, package. So okay. Uh we are perfectly good with that, so don't save it. Okay, let's go to the next uh, exercise. And uh, so we need to open stereo, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, that's right. Uh, so, yeah, uh, here we have to calculate the sample variance, sample correlation, coefficient, etc. So I'm here for your convenience, I put with uh, formulas so for you to remember how to calculate the, the sample covariance and how to calculate the uh, relation. So you see, so first of all, you have to calculate the product of uh, uh, linear, uh, linear variation for each uh, array. So for our two arrays and the subdivided by n minus one. So this is exactly what the formula is called that. So let's just uh, put it just again, just say it as in um, <laughs> your human language. So I want covariation. And again, you see you have two options for population, covariance for population and covariance for sample. Uh, yeah, so in this case again, we deal with the sample. I, I hope that everybody understands uh, understands why. So we choose it. So first we go to the help. Uh, no, I don't let you to, to annotate. So if you, Eleanor, if you have a question, so please ask me in the chat. Uh, yeah. So uh, yeah, very and so on. In this case, unfortunately, Excel doesn't provide for each formula, uh, for each uh, function the formula it uses. But believe me, and actually it could be uh, like the small homework for you just uh, to repeat the result. Ah, okay. Uh, look, uh, Deborah, um, uh, usually we don't use uh, formulas for calculation. Because uh, usually in our real world applications, we deal with the sample. We deal with sample because uh, the sample with a subset of uh, all possible uh, observations on with uh, objects. And obviously, because of uh, physical constraints, we cannot uh, we cannot uh, collect uh, statistical information. This statistical information on all entities of our object. So that's why we deal only with subsets. We deal only with a sample of information. Uh, that's why it's, uh, you, I would advise you not to fully forget about population, but just, uh, just uh, remember that uh, in like 99% of all cases, of all possible cases, you deal with sample. So, and you use the formula of the sample. So, yes. Uh, which is it. So, and for example, so you can, uh, so you see you have to insert two arrays. So the first array, which is the number of commercial. Uh, put comma, uh, put the sales volume. So we want to find uh, the interdependence between these two variables of number of commercial and sales volume. So uh, close bracket and uh, press enter. So 11. Uh, and as you remember, the variation doesn't have any meaningful interpretation. So it, it only says that our two variables they inter interdepend positively, so it means that uh, the growth the growth the growth in the one variable leads to the growth uh, in another variable. And so we can see, and in order 
to understand how strong it is, how the strong wave relation is, so we have to use the correlation process. And also, I would uh, advise you, for example, if you don't believe Excel, or even just in the sake of uh, with small exercise, so you can repeat what we did uh, for the previous task and calculate with, uh, or you can calculate uh, the linear variation, linear variation for X or Y, uh, yeah. and uh, calculate the covariance on your own. So, and for example, uh, just I will not repeat this exercise uh, for this case, but for example, we can briefly do it uh, to calculate the correlation for our case uh, uh, with the given correlation. So, for example, we want to so, so we can find uh, the standard deviation. Uh, let's start with this way, and the deviation for both uh, arrays. So, again, standard deviation for the sample. For the sample, so it's uh, width number, and uh, okay, just uh, you can uh, just expand expand this formula to the next cell, and you will get uh, the standard deviation for the cell for you. And you see, for example, uh, so in order to calculate the correlation, so we use covariance, and we just uh, follow the formula, and we subdivide it by. Uh, with number and with, so and we get uh, with number. So let's uh, check it out uh, if uh, Excel will output us with the same number. So correlation. Uh, la la. Which one, comma, the next array. Perfect. You see? So Excel doesn't like. Excel doesn't like, and you can uh, always check it. So, and uh, it means that yes, uh, as, uh, you see that uh, the correlation, the coefficient, of the, uh, the correlation coefficient usually lies uh, within the interval from not usually always, always from minus one to one, and in this case we deal with uh, very very strong uh, positive correlation because this coefficient. Uh, to one. So which is it? So which is how we calculate uh, the correlation and covariance? And uh, remember, so for covariance we don't have any meaningful interpretation, and we can interpret only correlation. And as you see, also I want to pay your attention. So for example, when you calculate correlation, you see you have only one option. You have only uh, only the function correlation. And as you see. Uh, in all cases, the width correlation is calculated for, uh, for sample, for sample. So it's Excel all the time calculates, uh, the sample correlation. And the width is uh, back to the question of Deborah. Uh, so, which is it? So, you see even uh, in Excel some functions they're constructed, uh, exclusively only for sample. So usually we don't uh, we don't have uh, such a luxury uh, to deal with uh, uh, to deal with uh, uh, population. So sorry guys, I just want to dream. And yeah, we can continue. Okay, so we should think for with uh, that. So don't save. Okay, so what's next? Uh, the next of drinks. So we will deal with uh, frequency uh, frequencies for frequencies for qualitative data. So no, just want to low to decrease the scale. So we will deal here with uh, frequencies with frequencies for qualitative data and we will I will show you how to visualize your results. So uh the simple bar charts and uh, uh so any questions so far? Uh so no I think yeah so it's a very relaxing session so I think it's pretty easy and uh, all of you able to cope with that. So it's okay. 
ะตุสุดท้ายสุดนี้ครับก็เวลบรนด์เฟอร์ชัยสุดท้ายสุดท้ายสุดท้ายสุดท้าอ oh, uh, sorry, I have to meet. I don't know why that's a. Come on, come on. What? 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 Ah uh, yeah, it's here. Then how? But for example, we can Google for it and uh, 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 unique and Excel. Yeah, you see, in in some packages there is a package unique where you can you can calculate uh, where you can calculate uh, where you can not calculate. You can find the uh, the unique values uh, in this in this array. So. And it's been usually yes, but I don't know why my version I don't have it. So just believe me that this array consists only of these five uh, five entities. But uh, yes, you can just uh, see how it works. Uh, yeah. So for example, you just uh, have to use you just uh, have to use the, the array array uh, with items in this case, and you just uh, type unique. Maybe you can try. Maybe in your version you have the function, and you can double check that I don't lie to you. So in here, so we have to with function unique, and you see that so we just apply it to with array, and we got with unique item. So which is uh, the way how we how we find with unique number. Yeah, but in this in for my version, I don't know what the hell is. Going on, but I don't have this function, so I sorry I cannot repeat uh, with results for you. So just uh, believe me by word. Uh, uh, yeah, and uh, so we have with uh, so dreams, and uh, so we here we have to use uh, the function for qualitative data counting. So. And just let's uh, explore together what that means uh, counting. So you see, so you have the range of data. So you have you have to insert an array of your also all the data you are interested in, and you have to insert the criteria by which it has it has to be chosen. And let's go. Just uh, you can just uh, go and read. What does it mean? So you see, it's like very friendly, user-friendly description of this function. So where do where, where do you want to look, and uh, what do you want to look for? So very, very, very um, straightforward and clear function. Even in this case, so wow, this is the first time I see that even they have video tutorials uh, for this function. So you see, you can play. You can play it on your on your computer and to see uh, how uh, how it works. But no worries. I, that's why I'm here. Instead of for with video player, I just show you how to use it. So okay, we're interested in with array. So and we have with criteria. So we want to find uh, the number the, the, the number of for each unique array in this array. So how frequently we can pay, we can, uh, we can, uh, we can pay the code, classic, DS code, Pepsi, Dr. Pepper, Sprite, etc. So which is our criteria? Ah, uh, no, 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 sorry. The criteria only for one. First, no, no. Then we will. We have only one criteria. So which is 19, and we just expand it to other stuff. So which is it? So we got it. Congratulations. So we have in our data set 19 the code classic uh, 8 uh, DX code etc. Uh, so you see and you can double check it. So the sum of frequencies uh, should be equal to the sample size. So and here you can uh, check it. You see the sum. Also pay attention to where the bottom line Excel uh, because it shows sometimes some uh, useful uh, statistics on the data. 
Uh, yeah, and uh, you see, you can double check it. So we have for uh, 50. We have 50 products, and so that's correct. So our function, the function uh, works as we want to. So and uh, the next step, let's visualize. The, let's visualize with results. So we want to build with our chart. Uh, so let's uh, let's just uh, use it this way. So I just uh, pushing the control. I chose with to uh, with to columns so again. So first I choose one column. The next I choose the second column. So and yes, so what we do the next? So we go to the top and chart. We go to the recommended chart, and here we go. So exactly what we need. So thank you very much. So we have very smart Excel and we can understand our needs. So and we fix. So and you can um, you can uh, customize with graphs uh, the way you want. So just let me also show you. So for example, on we sub design, when you click to your chart, so there is a sub design, and there is very important. Okay. Uh, Yes, the question. So, sorry, just let me uh, finish my thought and I you will come back to your question. So, there is very important uh, option, add chart element, and here you can explore it on your own. So, you see, you can add uh, exit titles, chart titles, etc., 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 etc. And here you just uh, use uh, any name you want. So, you see, everything can be. Um, and can be edited. Yeah. So that's it. Yeah, and I I go to your question. So when we drag the formula down, should we keep the range from uh, changing? So uh, no, no. In this case, uh, you see, we don't need uh, we don't need uh, to keep uh, to to do it. So we don't need uh, uh, to remain the criteria. So you see, in this in each case, uh, so for diet so. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry, I say, yeah, 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 you are right, you are right, thank you very much. So actually, yes, in this case, uh, it's better to use, uh, it's better to use, uh, dollars. Yeah, thank you very much for my, uh, uh, for my mistake. So, and I just use, uh, with dollars because we don't want it to, the range to be changed. Yes, so I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and uh, okay, let's double check it. Okay, now we can. Yeah, yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, I just, uh, I was, uh, I was unattentive. Yes, but thank you very much for your correction. It's a good time that you follow me. Uh, yeah, don't, uh, don't repeat my mistake. And it's very good that I made it. So, because uh, now I hope that everybody learns the lesson. So, be careful. And usually, yes, yeah, sometimes, uh, maybe it makes sense, uh, to, to use, uh, insert tables and, and deal with tables. So it's more safe, I would say, it's more safe in this case. Yes. But thank you very much. And you see that, uh, in this case, so we change the formula, so we, uh, uh, okay. Guys, can you hear me? Okay, because I see that I have uh, some problems with connection. Okay, thank you very much for your feedback. Yeah, yeah, guys. Yeah. So, but uh, let me know if uh, if I if I am breaking up. Okay. So, and you see what the convenience. Uh, Yes, exactly, exactly, Mark. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yes, be sure, yes. Usually double check it, double check it, but, uh, your range doesn't change. Yeah, and what, uh, convenience of Excel that, uh, even, uh, when we change the formula, so we frame our range with, uh, sign of dollars, uh, with sign of dollars, and we see the, uh, we automatically change, uh, the graph. So we can see. 
So this is how we visualize our data. Yeah, of course. Be careful with that. Okay, and uh, let's go to the next step. Uh, okay. Exercise a delete with audit. So in here we have to deal, we have to repeat all of the same tasks, but for, but for, uh, quantitative data. And uh, you see, for example, here we have three variables, and in this case this is all the time, so we want to put it into, uh, uh, with, uh, ranges. So, and uh, here we have to use formula frequency. And to use the formula, so we have explicitly to input in the formula upper limit. So in this case, so we, we indicate the upper limit for each range. So, and let's see how to use it. So, it calls a pretty formula as for counting. So, we put frequency, uh, not. We type frequency, so we choose data array, our case. So, we choose beans array, so with the uh, upper limit. Uh, we close the brackets, and here also, I will not make a mistake in this. Uh, yeah, I, because I already did it, so, and, uh, just, uh, because in order to use this formula, so you have to choose the, the range, the range of all your, uh, all cells where you have to invert this result. So, which is, uh, uh, the tricky part of using this formula. So, you cannot insert it in one, uh, cell. So you see, and again, before, before, you cannot just, uh, press the enter, because it will give you the wrong result, so you have to use control shift enter. And you see what happens. Yeah, you see, it's a frame by with curly bracket. No, I don't want to see. Just want to show you with form this, uh, stuff. Okay, where is the notation? So you see this curly bracket. So by uh, pressing the control shift enter, so we frame it with the limit. So for example, let's see if I will do mistake. So mistake here, I just uh, point out it uh, explicitly. So for example, let's go. Uh, so if we use this formula like with, so we choose array, uh, we choose the uh, upper limit, for example, and we just insert it. So you see, like, so from the first loop, it works good. But if you expand it to other cells, so you see it gives you help. But no worries, in this case, Excel will warn you that uh, something goes wrong. So you see, uh, that there is a mistake, so and you can uh, get the help on this mistake. So, and you can read on your own, but I mean, you will not go deep into details, just you see that the result, which is uh, the correct result, I just uh, highlighted with yellow color, and here mistake. So, the mistake uh, number one. Okay. Uh, yeah. Mistake number two. Uh, when we when we calculate it, for example, when we, for example, we first test we do the right thing, so we chose the whole range we want to we want to use this formula uh, to. So frequency data array, yes, uh, bin array. Okay, here we go. And for example, you see, if I don't press control shift enter, if I, if I just press the enter, uh, you see, it's, uh, it, it, it doesn't, it doesn't apply this formula to all cells. And actually by using, uh, uh, control shift enter instead of, uh, enter, so by, uh, combination of, um, of buttons, control and shift, so we, uh, 
gives uh, to know gives the cloud to know that you want to stand before the for four hours. And we see in this case when we drag it again with okay So don't forget. So and this curly bracket this is uh, the time that we did it we we did it uh, properly, that we did it correct. So which is it? Don't make this mistake, guys. And, and don't do mistake which I showed you in the previous, uh, in the previous section. So, again, uh, very simple. So we choose the frequency, sorry. We choose first uh, the frequency. So we choose, uh, again, pushing to the control. So pushing the control, so like this. Uh, I can also show you how you see. Yeah. So you push in, you push in, uh, you push in for wave control, and we choose, uh, we choose, uh, with table, so, uh, so sorry, we choose, we choose with the count, so we go to insert, recommend the chart, and here we go, perfect. So we have again, we have, we can customize with bar chart, any name, Again, uh, go to add chart elements. So, for example, if you want to add a uh, uh, name for your axis, so you can use uh, primary horizontal. So, it's not all we want. So, axis set of this one. So, also you just can uh, click on them, click on them, and uh, you see that you can customize. So, you can uh, type anything here. So you see also you can uh, customize uh, with uh, graphs in other ways. So Excel is very friendly in this case. So guys just uh, you can use different colors, so you can uh, different you can use uh, different stuff, you can uh, I mean really various of things. Just uh but for this stage, I think it would be sufficient for you to know just this. So you just can explore it by yourself. So which is it? So with I showed you, I have just showed you how to deal with uh, quantitative data in Excel and how to use with uh, bar charts, etc., and how to calculate frequency. So the formula frequency. So please remember uh, the frequency for so this is the so frequency for qualitative quantitative and uh, count it. For qualitative. Just remember it. So we have two important formulas, count it and frequency. And please that uh, they are a bit tricky in terms of using in terms of usage. So don't make mistakes I made today. So this is great. So this is great. So I think we can move to the last table again and stay with and uh, so let's deal with scatter plot. Let's deal with scatter plot. So here we have for uh, data on movies. So we have the total gross sales, the number of cinemas where this movie was uh, broadcasted. And just uh, let's uh, let's. Uh, Deals with scatter plot. So we choose which column. So first of all, I mean in this case, let's uh, let's go to the table and there's the table. So let's choose all uh, all data we have. So we do it by using combination of patterns. Control A. So you see our table was captured. So and we insert the table. Okay, great. And uh, here, here just uh, you see when we I chose this uh, column, so I choose uh, 
shows only with uh, yeah. Oh. Uh, again, let's choose with two columns and let's go to insert table. Oh, even though, even uh, I would I would show you another way. So if you want to scatter plot, if you feel that you want to scatter plot, let's go to the scatter plot. You see, uh, here it's in chart. Without any, without uh, capturing any data. So go just directly to insert scatter. So okay, so for example, we want this scatter. So the next you see we have three plateau, uh, with white plateau with, uh, we can use. So the next uh, thing we can uh, click, uh, right button. Select data. And, uh, here you add, uh, the element. So you see you have a series of x values. So this is, uh, my series name, we uh, put it, uh, stale. Series of x is, uh, Wind farm and a series of figures in the wind farm. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, and for example, I think we have uh, to switch our to switch our x axis and y axis. So and for that, we go to the edit. And we just uh, change uh, the place. And we just choose B to C. So perfect. So perfect. It's very nice pattern plot. You see. Uh, also, I would, uh, in, for this case, I would uh, also show you how to add additional HR elements here. So, for example, in this case, it would be interesting to see the time plan. So, because, for example, when you have the set of uh for, for example, for, for sake of regression analysis, so usually we want to keep the straight line into our, uh, into our that, that data point. So, for example, uh, we want to feed uh, the linear forecast. And you see, uh, Excel automatically calculates uh, with linear regression and it feeds the straight line to our, uh, to our data. Uh, so, and uh, by uh, double clicking on this, on, on this line, so you can uh, also customize it. So, for example, you can choose uh, the different color. So, you want to increase the width of this line. So, and you can see, for example, it's very interesting to see which straight line uh, is our data perfectly. And since we set uh, the linear trend, so, and you remember that uh, oh, correlation also is uh, called happen to tell us about uh, the strength. Uh, yeah, just uh, sorry, Mark, I will uh, come back to your question. So, and correlations show what uh, 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 the strength of with linear relation. So, and you see that the with, uh, with relation is positive for judging by with straight line because with angle uh, has a positive uh, degree. So, and for example, in this case, we can calculate the correlation and to see how strong with, uh, uh, how, how strong with, uh, with relation. So, okay, so you see, and this is the convenience of using a uh, table. So, for example, you see, you just can, uh, you just can use as the name of, of this variable. Oh, no. Okay. Huh. Uh, you can, we cannot. Oh, let me try it again. Let me see if it works. Mm, 
No, no, unfortunately no. Sorry, you cannot, uh, you cannot uh, use this tree by itself. So sorry. Uh, so that's why we just uh, choose. Uh, yeah, exactly what we need. Why it uh, doesn't give me from the first time? And here are the total sales. Uh, okay. Number of cinema. Yeah. Okay, it works like this. Yeah. You see, it's also just uh, small types of programming uh, in Excel. So, in order to choose the variable, so you have to to type the table once. So, I, I think it, it, this name can be changed. So, be, be careful with that. So, and also using with square brackets, you choose uh, the name, the name of our variable, top of your sales and number of schema, and you calculate the correlation. So, here we go. Uh, okay, let's uh, highlight it, and you see, like, uh, with relation is uh, indeed strong, so it's uh, it's positive. So, and you see that uh, uh, with straight line helps us a lot, and and with linear uh, relation uh, between these two variables, variables, so on top of gross sales and number of cinemas. So it means that uh, uh, number of cinemas uh, indeed uh, correlates with total gross sales. And actually, I would uh, like to express my uh, gratefulness to Mark. Thank you very much. Yes, it's a good point. So, for example, uh, you notice that uh, you see the straight line. It's not the best option nowadays. So, the straight line is not the best line which can be fitted into our data. And this is a problem. So, and because, for example, when we calculate the correlation, so it's... Uh, it still it uh, reveals us the strength of uh, linear uh, dependence between our two yeah. variables. But look, it's uh, with relation can be not linear, and uh, what Mark just said, it's uh, yeah he he has guessed that maybe exponential uh, is better. And let's see, let's see if he is right. So let's go to chart elements. Trend line, and for example, just let's use exponential. And the C, so let me change uh, the color of it. Uh, so, for example, let's see it black. And uh, yeah, let's make it fat. Yeah, you see, indeed, it looks like the exponential line fits our, our data better. So, and it means that most probably the relation between the these two variables is not linear. But guys, uh, I think for this course, don't pay too much attention to it because it's the kind of advanced stuff and it's like it's the next stage. But for you who is curious, who is curious uh, about these relations, you can uh, read something more about it. But you know, the most to low your brain is uh, Additional information, yes. Just, I want you just to think about it and just bear in mind and remember that correlation, correlation is uh, uh, the measure of interdependence, linear interdependence. And sometimes uh, the interdependence between two variables might be not linear. And I think also we can even, uh, oh, sorry, we can even uh, get uh, trend line, okay, more trend line options, uh, okay. Uh, so I, I think maybe we can, uh, yeah, 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 so, so for example, we can even, uh, just also for those, for those of you who are curious, because here there is uh, the statistical proof that exponential uh, line is the data best. So we can uh, use this uh, R squared. Okay. Just let me show you. And here. Yes, exactly, guys. Look, perfect. I uh, just. Uh, don't don't uh, don't don't please don't um, 
don't take with important information too serious. You don't no, you don't need to use it. You don't need to use it during your examination. I just want to show you some just small uh, things that could be interesting. So you see, uh, with uh, the R square, the R square. So you will uh, learn what is this uh, later. I will not explain you what is exactly. Uh, actually, for for now, you just need to know that this is the measure of uh, goodness of speed of our line. And uh, then higher with uh, measure, then better. And better our line is our data. So, and you see that for, for linear, linear line. So, let, just let me use different powers. Oh, <laughs> not the best choice. Yeah, not much better. So and you see that orange R square is is for linear line. So it's uh, 0 0.41. So and uh, for exponential line it's uh, 0 0.45. And you see that uh, the exponential line indeed a smart uh, sand is the uh, data is our data better. So with the fit guys. Um, so, and Mark was right, yeah, exponential line uh, explains our data, our, our relation between these variables, variables data. So, indeed. Yeah. Uh, so, we can see, but please, guys, don't pay too much attention to this. You will not use it during the examination again. So, your examination will be open book for exam and uh, with multiple uh, choice questions. So with the fifth, and uh, also another one thing I wanted to show you for today. So I know that you have to with additional homework. So la, la, la. it's here, so the final. So let's just go briefly through it. So here you have to deal with data. So with uh, some data uh, from stock market. So with uh, the main characteristics. And yeah, so you have to find what type of variables do you have when you use that today. So that's super easy. So the second question. So you have to select uh, a random sample of 50 companies using uh, the random function. Uh, yeah, and I will show you now how to use it. And uh, so the next uh, exercise, select two variables of preferences, find mean mode, so easy guys. So it's I'm sure that all of you will do it easily. Construct histogram again. Guys, you can construct it so you know how to interpret histogram. So you know how to interpret frequencies, I believe. Uh, covariance correlations also. So I, I would strongly advise for all of you to do with exercise. So for you, it's like a really, uh, really cheap uh, way. You Get additional scores. Of course, if you're interested. So the only trick I just want to show you is that so you have to you have to work with that random function. Well, okay. Let's uh, use for example with uh, uh, with table. So let's introduce uh, the new variable ram. So and uh, so use with how how to use with uh, how to use with the uh, function. So when we deal with tables, so when we insert it uh, in one uh, cell, so it will be automatically expanded uh, to all cells. And what what is, what is uh, output? What it gives you as an output? You see, so you have uh, numbers in the range from zero to uh, from zero to one. So actually, the function rand uh, uh, returns. Uh, the result of uh, uniform, uniform, uniform distribution uh, from year to one. And so, for example, what's next? So, I would advise you to copy with uh, column. Yes, yeah. because you see uh, all the time you insert uh, number, the results of will change. Yeah, you see. Okay, and I did uh, the mistake. 
Don't do with the delete. Uh, can copy and uh, insert the uh, and insert it only values. You are not interested in formula, so just uh, insert values of for uh, with function because we see and also we don't need any more with uh, this table, so you can delete it. Yeah. So and now we have we have to we attributed to each observation, to each observation, uh, to each observation, any random value from the range from zero to one. And what's the next? The most obvious step is just uh, to range it from smallest to the largest value, or from uh, uh, vice versa, from largest to smallest, and just. Uh, you using with sorting applying with sorting to our data set and choose uh, any 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 number of uh, values we're interested in. So first thing to do, yeah. So I would advise you to include with column to our data to our table. So and yes, here is the name. So you see that when we calculate here. Table one. So when you click on the table, you go to the other tab. You see the name, and you can change it. So if you change it here. You can uh, you can uh, check for it here. And here, for example, you can uh, use a different name. So and when you change it here, when you change it here, when you change the table name here, don't forget to change it for your variable or for your for your statistics you calculate. So and here, for example, so we go to the table, precise uh, table, and for example, we want to capture the column D. You see? Uh, yeah, we press OK. OK, perfect. Now it's uh, we, now with uh, about with uh, the United table. So and here we just click to, to with uh, to with list. And you see, we have uh, we have an option to sort our variables, to sort our uh, observations. This, for example, uh, let's sort it from smallest to large. Okay, perfect. And for example, so now we if we want that we can choose randomly is the the tenth, the tenth uh, smallest, uh, the tenth uh, motion pictures with the smallest uh, random value. Uh, with the fit. So you see it and move it. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And just uh, let's highlight it with uh, the yellow. So this is how we how to use the random action and I think this is uh this is the only obstacle obstacle uh, you can you can face calculating uh, calculating with uh, with numbers uh, calculating uh, solving with exercise. So guys, uh, with the fit for today and the with the fit for our course. Um, yeah. So if you have uh, any questions, so please uh, raise them now. So from my side, I would like to express my uh, gratefulness to all of you, and it was a big pleasure to have this course to teach you, and I hope it was very productive uh, for you, and uh, you learned some lessons from uh, from my explanations, and it was helpful, I hope. And I wish you all the best in your future studies. I wish you the best results in your examinations. And uh, yes, I'm still available for you via email. So don't uh, hesitate. Uh, don't hesitate uh, to send me any questions regarding exercises we have solved uh, during this course. Uh, also, one uh, one announcement I would like uh, to tell you that most probably, if uh, you will need it, if you will need some. Uh, consultation uh, in the front of exam, so we will do it. So, for example, if you 
we'll have, for example, we will devote one day, uh, for example, one week before the exam, uh, where you will uh, have the chance to ask uh, all uh, questions, all questions uh, you are concerned with. Uh, so, and I will try to go, to go through them carefully and to answer all of them. So, with the food guys, so with uh, all um, announcements and with, uh, with uh, everything that I wanted to say to you. So again, thank you very much guys. I really, it was a pleasure. And uh, good luck, good luck with everything. And uh, stay healthy, stay healthy. And uh, take care of yourself and uh, your relatives. Relatives. So thank you very much, guys. So if you don't have any questions, uh, so so I think we should finish uh, this, this session. So but I will I will give you several minutes to to ask anything you want. So guys. Okay. I think uh, we're done with everything. So guys, any questions? Can you hear me? Okay, guys. Uh, if not, so I uh, say to you goodbye. And I have a question. I have a question. Yes, yeah, yeah, please. Uh, my question is: it, uh, Do you know how it's going to be the terms? Uh, the way it's uh, going to be organized. Uh, okay, I think it uh, for sure it will be organized remotely, so it will be open book uh, exam and. Uh, uh, if I think it will be yeah. multiple questions, so you could, uh, like uh, the open form of test, more or less. And uh, yeah, with this, uh, uh, this is all that I know. Actually, if you have more detailed questions, so I think you have to ask Anna, please. But uh, from my side, I know just this. Uh, you, you, mean, you mean about uh, to read multiple questions? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And you 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 don't have to use the uh, I mean you can use Excel, you can use book, you can um, with except of external assistance of course. You can you, you you don't have to do it on your own. I mean uh, you have to be very long. So we can see. But uh, you are you are you'll be allowed to use any kind of material and the uh, resources you need. Uh, Thank you. Okay, thank you very much for your question. Okay. Okay, guys. Bye bye. Yeah, thank you very much for listening. Yeah, have a nice day, guys. Yeah, see you again. Best luck, good luck with all, with all my business. And I'm at your disposal via email, so please don't hesitate to contact me if you have any questions. Okay, bye guys.